it was the best feeling, man. Uh, I see all the stadium, all my teammates. It was an amazing moment. Adolis Garcia sends on the other way. That sends Carroll back. He's at the wall, and the legend grows! So here we go to the ninth inning of game one, and here comes Paul Seawald. Seawald, the right-hander, six out of six in save opportunities. He's unscored upon this postseason in eight innings. Tavares takes ball four, and there's the dreaded leadoff walk. It was loud. It was loud. Like you can uh, hear the <laughs> your, your teammates talking. You know, it was really loud. I love it. Now this is the at bat. I was. I'm. I'm intrigued with this at bat. But we've seen Seager go after a top of the line fastball in the top of the zone. And crush it. Could tie it with one swing. High drive. It's tied. You can see the stadium like oh we go crazy like see if you see Cody like, just yelling after the homer you you're never gonna see that and in that moment we need it and after he did that man like, we say like hey we gotta win this game. And now Bruce Bochy goes to his closer. This is Jose Leclerc. Got this fastball by him. Another one two three inning for Pico and we're going to the bottom of the eleventh. Any kind of run would win it. Rangers five, Diamondbacks five. I was talking with Donny. Uh, he told me, hey, you know this guy, he like sink inside. You gotta just push him away a little bit and just do your swing. El Bombi could love a bomb right here to end game one. Tied at five, bottom of the 11th, and Castro's on to face him. I had a, a bat before the game when we played the D-backs at uh, their stadium, and he made me out with that same sinker. We saw him in Houston in game six. Clearly wanting to be the hero after the yeah. drama of game five, and he struck out four times in a row to start that game, only to take a deep breath, settle down, and hit a grand slam in the ninth. Just a bit outside. One ball, no strikes. That pitch, I was looking away, but that was too away. That was way outside. Too much. On this 1 0 pitch, takes in the dirt for ball two. Everybody's standing here at Grove Life Field. And we have just passed the four hour mark of this game. Flair, drama, joy, all in one package right here. Dolis Garcia. <laughs> Couldn't help himself. Two and one. There he is. I was too aggressive on that one. Good changer. You know, he badly wants to be the hero. He's ahead three and one. I mean, now you gotta get him up, get him up, and say, okay, now we're winning. Now let's go. He's gonna throw you your sinker right now. Yes, good location and your best swing. Adolis Garcia sends on the other way. That sends Carroll back. He's at the wall, and the legend grows! Adolis Garcia wins game one! It was the best feeling, man. Uh, I see all the stadium. All my teammates, I mean, it was an amazing moment. My goodness, he's done it again. The Rangers are awaiting Adolis at home plate. He throws off the helmet, leaps into the pile. And the Rangers have won it six to five. Adolis Garcia was made for these moments. Extremely special, you know, just the, the way he's been going, how we've been playing, he's been carrying us that whole playoffs, and he's just the right guy for the job, you know. Everybody kind of had it in the back of their mind, and then to actually see him do it, man, it's special. What a cool moment for us, the fans, everybody. World Series, you know, every game matters, every at bat, every swing. So if you take the first game at home, that give you like a confidence, you know, like you got just three more wins left. I think game one of the World Series was the best game in Rangers history and he capped it off for us.